Hello, James. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing We are okay. Well, Thanks thank so、you. much for being with us. I gotta ask, okay, you are well known as being a huge sports fan. Yes. Okay, <laughs> tell us about the Euros. What happened? What was the magic? How was that like? What was that like? Well, number one,、um, this, was very, this was a very new experience for us.、Mm. Uh, because uh, the last time Wales had, had made a, a major international competition、mm. um, in football was in 1958.、Oh. Um, um, it'd been such a long time ago that Wales had, had ever made a competition、mm. that、um, Pele, the famous Brazilian footballer,、mm -hmm. um, had scored his first ever World Cup goal against us. <laughs> okay.、Um, so、that, that's a long, long time that is ago. That's a long time ago. And、uh, kind of, so it It's, it, was a, it was a very novel experience for us. It was a very new experience for us.、Um, and basically, I think we were all in shock when we qualified.、Yeah. And <laughs> then,、uh, I think just the feeling of just togetherness, of、yeah. just general warmth. And acceptance of our own achievement of getting there just kicked in when the competition started. Our fans were amazing.、Mm. Um, they just, you know, because we are a small country, you know, we are only run about three and a half million people, but our fans spent so much money going over there.、Yeah. And, and I think, you know, the bottom line was is that our team was a real team.、Um, mm. There was a real togetherness there. You know, there were, there were stories of, you know, the footballers buying £2,000 worth of Lego <laughs> and just building, building things out of Lego with each other.、Wow. Uh, Gareth Bale, who's one of the most, you know,、mm. expensive footballers in the world,、mm. um, uh, was going to press conferences and, and taking bags of cakes and muffins away from the press conference to go <laughs>、wow. back to the hotel for the other players.、Awesome. Which isn't the kind of, you know, yeah, that's, you not, what that you'd expect. that's、yeah. not what you'd expect of a multimillionaire footballer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think You know, basically, you know, the, the behavior of the, of the team,、yeah. whether it be、uh, James Chester or Gareth Bale, was that of togetherness. They were、mm. in it together and、yeah. they were real teammates. And、it、I think that was the bedrock of why we had success. And I got to ask, how did the Mannix come to write the official Wales、yeah. Euro 2016 anthem? Well, I think that was a long, painful road.、Um, <laughs> you know,、uh, why is that? Nick, Well, Nicky Wire had been going to see Wales in major international football matches since he was 10 years old. I'd be going since I was very young, too. And subsequently, we'd seen so much failure in Welsh、Aww. football、uh, because we're, both, we're massive football and rugby fans.、Mm. And, you know, I think we had this dream, the impossible dream of writing, you know, a, a Welsh football anthem if we ever qualified for competition.、Right. And the years went by and we'd gotten close and then、okay. it, all fall, it, it would、Aww. all fall apart again. And then halfway through the qualification campaign for、uh, these, the Euros that have just passed, We started thinking this is going to happen.、Mm. So Nick started writing the lyrics halfway through、wow. uh, the kind of the qualifying campaign. And、uh, it, just, it just seemed to fall into place. And I think, you know, there, there are football songs in the past connected with England.、Mm. Uh, there was World in Motion by、uh, kind of New Order,、mm. uh, there were Three Lions by The Lightning Seeds.、Mm. And I think when, when sport and music combine, it's a very rare thing and it's a very hard thing to pull off.、Hmm. But when you do do it, it, it can be beautiful. Yeah, and it must have been wonderful to hear your song、oh, everywhere.、Yeah. Yes, it was. It was. And I was, I was very proud that Nick had managed to get so much football, Welsh football history into the lyric. <laughs>、yeah. It wasn't just a song about、right. saying, hey, let's support Wales. Woohoo! You know, there was, a, <laughs>、okay. there, was, there, was, there was a lot of failure and melancholy、oh. and,、uh, you know, tragedy in the lyric、mm. before the realization that this song is really about that finally, after all that pain and suffering, we have qualified. In November,、um, the Mannix will be in Japan. And can you tell us about this、uh, Everything Must Go 20th anniversary tour? Yes,、yeah, so, um, we are doing what a lot of bands do for some of their my, most iconic records.、Mm -hmm. um, and、uh, we've done it for the Holy Bible、um, mm -hmm. two years ago. And now we're doing the same with Everything Must Go. These, these will be the last dates of our Everything Must Go、okay. uh, anniversary.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, basically, the first half of the set, we will play. Everything must go in its, in its entirety. And when you do that, you have to be very faithful、oh. to the songs that were on the record.、Mm. You have to be quite detailed in the way you play the songs、mm. so they sound as if they've been transported from the mid 90s.、Mm. You know, that's the kind of trick that you've got to try and pull off because I don't really like going to see bands when they reinterpret their classic、oh, okay. songs.、Oh, you know, I like、yeah. to hear the songs. 
as I remember them. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what we'd be trying to do. And then the second half of the show will be kind of like a greatest hits uh, moment. And this all prepares us for what we're doing now. We are, I suppose, living in the past mm. by doing this mm. briefly. Um, but at the moment, we're trying to do a new record. So it's it's kind of like a schizophrenic moment for the band. No. You know, we, we are kind of mm. playing songs from the past in a very reverent fashion. But also, concurrently, we're trying to kind of create new songs too. This was the first album released after Richie disappeared. Yes. So yes, it was. It was. Um, it, it, it does bring back memories of Richie, undoubtedly. Mm. Um, but it brings back more, more so. It brings back memories of us having to deal with carrying on without him, mm. and the uncertainty of knowing whether people could accept the band as a three-piece, and the uncertainty of, of the uncertainty of not knowing if we could still write songs that mattered to us, let alone our audience. Um, so, kind of, you know, there's a bit of sweet memory connected with the record um, because mm. obviously there was so much uncertainty mm. going on without Richie. But subsequently, you know, we got the answer that we were looking for. Really, um, we were accepted on a on a on a very on a very populist mm. mass level. Um, a song like "Design for Life" was a hit mm. around the world, and suddenly, you know, we were a song. Uh, you know, we were a band that kind of that had been accepted on a much larger scale. So, kind of, you know, like yeah, like I said, it's, it's a bit of a sweet ex- experience yeah. sometimes having memories of Eminem's go. Sometimes you think of, of having to carry on without your friend, mm. but, but, but undoubtedly there was the flip side, the more positive side of knowing that we'd had so much more success mm. after that tragedy. Mm. Was it at that time like a day to day thing? Like, okay, today's today's a good day. And then I the think, next um, day's a bad day. Up until, up until Everything Must Go was released, that was definitely how it felt. Right. Mm. We took things one step at a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we dealt with emotions when they rose up uh, amongst us. And personally, uh, we dealt with things as they came to us day by day, one step at a time. Um, but then when the record was released, when Design for Life was released as a single, it felt as if that, that song gave us shelter from those mm. emotions. It gave us a chance to sometimes try and forget those emotions and it gave us a chance to escape those emotions which might sound not selfish but it might sound a bit self-serving but we needed something to give us protection and shelter from from what we've been through i think Mm. 